Best scene from the Messiah Project. Interior, hospital room, night. James lies unconscious in a bed, bandaged neck to toe. A military nurse unwraps the bandages from his right arm. It appears uninjured. Kelly and Bruce stare at James. He was found in Kabul two days ago and transferred to the morgue. He came in looking like this. The nurse hands Kelly a photograph we don't see. Kelly hides her revulsion, but Bruce can't help but look away. How many people saw him heal? I was alone in the morgue when I heard him moan. I informed my CO, and he initiated shadow protocol. Everyone else thinks he's died in Kabul. Kelly stares at James. She checks his pupils, shines a pen light down his throat. She runs her index finger down his arm, marveling at his skin. Any signs of consciousness? No, but his brain activity is off the charts. Let me know the moment he wakes up. You mean if he wakes up? James' eyes pop open and he seizes Kelly's arm. She involuntarily <laughs> screams. He pulls her close. Restrain him, Bruce! The nurse and Bruce both struggle to get padded restraints on James, but he won't be denied. He pulls Kelly closer, facing him. What the fuck have you done? James' heart monitor blares as his heart rate escalates. Bruce and the nurse grapple to restrain James, who still grips Kelly's arm. Kelly stops struggling and looks James in the eye. She summons a calm, clear voice. Soldier, release your superior officer. James stares at her with hatred, but he lets go of her arm. Kelly quickly composes herself. It's okay, Sergeant. You've been out of it for five days straight. Nothing about this is okay. Where are my men? Unknown. We detected a thermal detonation. We were incinerated alive. Even after my skin burned off, I could still feel it. My last memory is one of complete, blinding agony. Congrats, Major. You've created the most effective torture known to man. Kelly stares at James, horrified. She turns away. Bruce puts a hand on her shoulder, but she shrugs it off and turns back to James. But she can't look at him. She runs out of the door before she completely loses it in front of him. Where the hell are you going? You owe me some answers! The nurse tries to calm James down. Bruce goes after Kelly. Interior, Army Hospital Hallway, night. Kelly sits on the floor, sobbing. Bruce squats next to her, but doesn't comfort her. Her breathing calms down, but she looks inconsolable. I could have told the General no, but I wanted Kezar. He just would have had someone else inject them. This was supposed to help them survive, not prolong suffering. If it weren't for you, he'd be dead right now. He makes it sound preferable. If he survived? Then maybe the others did, too. We need to find these men. Kelly looks at Bruce. She sucks in a deep breath, roughly wipes the tears out of her eyes. She stands. Let me know when General Grady gets here. Bruce nods. Kelly heads back into the hospital room. Interior, hospital room, night. James stares at Kelly. Where is Captain Corvado? You said he was stable. Is he dead? Answer me, goddammit! Captain Corvado is still unresponsive. I'm sorry, Sergeant. Bullshit. He's dead. Did you have the decency to tell his wife? Bruce bursts into the room before she can answer, hands Kelly a note. Has this been verified? Bruce nods. Kelly thinks for a moment, then looks at James. We just received word on another squad member. I'll debrief you when the general arrives. Before James can ask a follow-up, the door slams shut. Interior, Kelly's office, night. Kelly and General Grady sit at a table with James. The lights are dimmed and a huge monitor shows photos of buildings and mosques ravaged and strewn with bodies. This is outside Banu, Afghanistan. You think Mackie is behind this? Kelly turns on the overhead light, looks at James. He's not leaving any witnesses behind, but we're almost certain it's him. And if you and Mackie survived, then maybe your entire squad did. Any idea how you ended up so far away from your last known location, Sergeant? Absolutely none, sir. Sergeant, you and your squad are American heroes. I want these men found and I want them brought back home. Are you up to the task? Yes, sir. I have one request. I need Major Lennox to accompany me. Shocked, Kelly looks at James, sees the cold light of revenge in his eyes. General Grady shakes his head. She's the authority on this serum and something's grossly wrong. Not only does Mackie not feel any pain, he seems to love it. We're going to need your expertise in the field. Make no mistake about it. Not going to happen. She's too valuable to put in harm's way. 
then give her the serum. Kelly stares at James. This guy has it out for her. General Grady considers his proposition, looks at Kelly. Sir, I have an infant at home. James looks at Kelly with a hint of remorse. We'll handle your domestic situation, Major. This needs to be dealt with quickly and quietly. You want more soldiers? Say the word, but I want you in the field. I'll let you make the call on whether or not you want to take the serum yourself. Kelly tries to keep her composure, the full implication of his orders hitting her. We'll handle it, sir. Good luck to both of you.